Okay. Pam pam. We Okay, so we are live now. <clears throat> okay, so we are live now. <clears throat> Right. session i promise it's 30 but i'm sorry um we had to come a bit late um just to get some things right you know how it is um sorry about that <clears throat> okay so this day i want us to actually talk about something that uh, drum has taught us for those that has been um 
playing the drum for the past how many weeks or how many months um, for people that have started with us like four or five months ago um, the level that you are right now what the drum has taught you in the forums in the forum today and some people have actually said um, that some drum has actually treat, uh, taught them how to be persistent um, drum, drum has taught them how to be diligent you know drum has taught them how to do um, better you know how to how to be how to be deliberate about whatever they are doing so that's that's one of the things that actually drum can actually do to you generally you know drumming is a lifestyle and when you drum when you play drum you tend to like um, do more to yourself because you have to sacrifice a lot of things you know your wrist might be paining you you might be hitting the stick on your um, on your fingers then sometimes you might bust your drum different things can actually happen just to make uh, this can be very frustrating sometimes. I remember when I just started out to myself, forget my. Okay, when I first started, what happened eventually? Okay, there are a lot of em em harassment, embarrassment, and discouragement. In the church at that time, I started from church and still in church. Where is the right place? Oh, wow. It's not a bad thing, sir. You know, I just play, play, I play for God, you know, mainly. A uh, few platforms that are not uh, gospel, saying, I mean gospel content. When I get there, I feel I feel really uh, different because I I tend to actually do more. I have more. I, I see that I have more content, you know, or like every other person. So I could do folk, I could do cultural thing, I could do proverb, I could do different things. So and that's what drum has. Then drum has actually taken me. Um, to places that ordinarily I wouldn't have been able to get to. Yes, I played where governors are seated. I played where president uh, was sitting. I played different on different platforms, you know. But the reality of thing is that drumming has actually um, exposed me to the world. So sometimes I just realize that a lot of people look up to me for one thing or the other. So people want to dance, people just want to be happy. You know, I need to just put myself on that kind of um, platform, stage of play where I just need to do what people expect. You understand? And um, with that, I am able to actually give more to the society. I think it's kind of, it sounds very, very good. <laughs> it sounds good somehow, you know. And um, as, a, as an upcoming drummer, what I want you to believe or know at the back of your mind is that if you know how to do this thing properly, if you, if you are diligent with it, if you spend more time with your drum, the drum, you will not only get better, the drum will actually place your hand on the right place. So, yes, that's what drums does. Actually, please, can you move this thing a bit closer? Let me see how it looks. Just make me... No, just shift forward a bit. Shift the, your seat. To, let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's a bit. Uh, okay, so I think it's a little bit higher. I think it looks better. I think it looks better. Let me look bigger. I'm fat inside. <laughs> so, so I want you to actually um, start, you know, dropping some um, some some of your questions. Let me see what you have. I mean where you want me to talk about and things you want me to do, you know, today, so that we don't, um, I don't spend so much time gisting and talking about things that you don't want, to. you know, a lot of people want to ask questions, which I know, I know, I know, I know a lot of, I know a lot of people want to ask some questions right now, okay, so it's fine, I can see some people healing, thank you, uh, Ms. Akira Emmanuel. Thank you very much, Mr. Toba Peters. Thank you, Samoto Shaw. Thank you, thank you, Ore. thank you, bros. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so you people just please drop in your questions so that we know um, exactly what you want me to actually treat today. Some people said that um, it's difficult for them to play a lujo as a beginner. No, please don't be in a hurry to do stuff like that, please. Please don't be in a hurry. I want you to actually um, pay more attention to the things that are really needed right now. You know what is needed for you to be able to play danceable rhythm? 
if you can keep good rhythm, it will make a lot of sense for you. You know why? If you play a lujo and you cannot, you are not consistent. You are not, you cannot play drum. I mean, you cannot play correct rhythm, rhythm that to make people dance and you are playing a lujo. It means you are missing what is very, very important. Do you understand? Um, let's do what is what is needful. That's rhythm. A lot of people, yeah, I heard um, a lot of people are having issues playing episodes three and four. We are working tirelessly to actually readjust that thing. If we cannot get it another two weeks, um, I promise we're going to redo the videos. That's, if that's what it takes. Well, as much as we can, we'll try and um, um, do that again, just to correct the audio, the error in the audio, so that you guys can actually have access to episode two, I mean three and four. I think, yes, three and four. So, um, it's fine. Rhythm, it is very important. Okay, let me do live Kutelu now. Kutelu. Okay. That is it. You get? Now, I said this one, let's say this is one. Your hand is one. And um, this is two. So, let's say one, two, one. That is it. One, two. You get so that's Kutelu. So your hand is on Re. You remember the Re minor. So this your hand is on Re. So then this one goes one. Then this one. You get. That's simple. Just that simple. And I encourage you at least spend five minutes at least beside those busy people that goes to work. There's nothing so special or too serious about this. Just even if it's just two, five minutes every morning before or after your devotion or before you take your bath or whatever. Just spend five minutes. said they are having issues with um, combining Kutelu with rhythm. Don't pay attention to Kutelu. Rehearse Kutelu and let it be a part of you. Kutelu will find its way into your rhythm. It, is, it comes naturally. It comes naturally. So whatever your question is here, please, please bring it up. Bring it up now. And um, thank you. I can see you. All right. You know? Just like that. Just, just keep that going. Keep that going. Keep that going. Keep that going. Please. Keep the um, questions coming. Now, okay. So, someone is saying that to combine Kutelu with your rhythm is becoming very difficult. Please, don't, it's not, don't make it difficult. Don't make it difficult. Just like I said, rehearse Kutelu on its own. Separate, separate. I'll be doing your reading. So if you, are, if you have practiced your reading very well, to be easy, it will be easy for you to add Kutelu to it.
shirt, just like that. The your kutelu will find its way inside of it. It's natural. It is natural. They will just come in. It will just come in naturally like that, and it will be a, a beautiful thing for you to just do. So don't feel bad at all. Don't feel bad at all. Don't feel bad at all that you're not getting it. So um, let me check YouTube. Okay, people have not started dropping. Let's start dropping our uh, our questions. Let me let's start dropping our questions. So, uh, okay. Now, um, if you're, some people said uh, they are talking to me sounding like paper. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, it's not our fault. It's, no, it's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. It is the nature that is demanding for this. Amatan is out in Nigeria. I don't know where you are right now, but in Nigeria, in Lagos, Nigeria, there is Amatan. And that is what is actually making uh, your drum sound like that. So I advise you just keep your drum in a bag. Try and tie it a little bit in the middle. Tie it a little bit in the middle with your tuner. If you have a good drum, you should have this thing. So you just tie it in the middle, just a little, and um, like this, tie it back like that. Okay, let me teach you that one properly. So to tie, to tune your drum, you this tuner, you send it round this drum. Then look at this place. You put it in the middle. Then you you draw this back. Like this, you understand? You draw it back like this and you tune it. I mean, you tie it in the middle like this. Don't make it too hard because of the weather, too. You know, don't, don't make it too hard. You can just do this or you put it in the middle of this stuff, this or awesome, something, and you tie it like that. Just keep it in a bag. With this, you'll be able to at least um, keep your drum sane uh, in good sound, like that, like that. Uh, it keeps going. So, um that's how you keep your drum this period of amatan it's not your fault that your drum is sounding like that the drum is just um, reacting to um, nature which makes a lot of sense okay so what are you saying okay 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 so <laughs> now there is um another question that somebody has done the, during the week that they need sequence to rehearse or to play with. Yeah, I understand, uh, but <clears throat> that shouldn't be your major. It's good. In fact, I even recommend see, um, um, what do you call this? Your tempo regulator. That's, um, so with that, you'll be able to, because sometimes you can your rhythm can be buried into the sequence you are playing, which is um, <coughs> different things that people are doing. So I want to advise that you please um, do metrolon alone. So with that, you can actually know that you are not going off beat or off time. Then you play your rhythm. But right now, the most important thing for you to do is to keep um, good rhythm going just keep it going just keep it going like that so um i want you to actually do that right now you know just keep on the rhythm i'm still waiting for your questions let me know the reason why i come live right now is because i want to uh, attend to everybody's questions at once and for others to learn from it <clears throat> so just bring on your questions let me see what you have before we go off. If there are no many questions, maybe I'll just run this up and and um, and um, close this session. But if not, we'll just keep at it. Now, a lot of people are saying they want Alujo, they want, the video is coming. If it doesn't come next Thursday, then it will come up a week. But I think um, it should drop anytime soon, either next week or up a week. But, um, rolling, so people still ask for rolling. Is it that rolling comes first, Alujo follows, or 
Rolling, I mean, Alejo comes first and Rolling follows after. You understand? So, but the two are coming. They are coming very soon. And there are other things that we're going to do. So, and I want to promise you that after now, we're going to be having a live session with other um, traumas where we'll be able to actually blend some of the things and make you see the reality of things that I've been teaching you. Believe me, journey of drumming is very easy. It's easy. So um, you need to get your doremi before you go to the next thing. The journey is far, but if you put your mind at what you what we are about to do and what you are doing right now, it's not going to take you a long time. I learned. Well, it took like a, it took me like a year because I was teaching myself. Somebody asked me what I mean the journey, my journey into drum. <laughs> As I just told today, but let's just um, keep. Uh, doing what we're doing and just keep it. She asked me any question in the nearest future we're going to be doing. And we're going to be dropping different videos, how the drum is made, how you to maintain your drum and different things like that. Yeah, the last last episode, last two episodes, last two episodes that we talked about how to you know, maintain your drum or how to fix your drum in five minutes. Yeah, I've got a lot of response on that. And some people said um, they want um, that organ the organ is removed that I can they actually do that none of my drums the organ or any of my drum has not even removed so I don't know where I'm going to get that kind of drum to do this tutorial and there are things you can actually do you can actually use um, thread and needle to actually you know pull it together especially for those in diaspora who that cannot easily get somebody to fix their drum I don't know without headache or you don't understand what I mean but the truth of the matter is that you can actually do this um, some small small fix drum fix you know while you are still doing um, while you are anywhere you can do it on your own so that is it some people are asking me that they need um, slow tempo uh, slow, slow tempo sequence okay any sequence that you have you can download the tempo slow or be Tempo slow, slow tempo, tempo slow, or something like that. Yeah, there is one app like that. If you just download that app, you can actually either reduce the tempo of the song, of the, the sequence, or increase it. So I don't think you need anything slow. I don't think so. I don't think you need any slow, slow mo or whatever. I mean slow, slow tempo. Okay, slow mo is the app. The name of the app, slow mo. So, um, I, I just, I just, I just wanted to actually know that. You have to do what you, what is needful right now. You have to do what is needful. Just do whatever you need to do to get the uh, thing started. Some people say, okay. Some people say ask for um, uh, what is it called now? Water sequence. Okay, water sequence. I don't have it. But I don't think there is any that is not available i'll try and get one and if i can get it done somehow somehow maybe in the studio or something but for now i don't think there is any i don't have any i don't have any yet i don't have any okay so um some people said they have problem with their drama I like and they get to play properly with their drummer. You have a lot of work to do. This is what I mean. If you know how to play correct rhythm and you can drive the beat, I mean the rhythm, your drummer will not have a choice than to follow suit. If you if you want um, a drummer to play correct, I mean Alujo with you. Then you have to find time, someone, someone to rehearse with that drummer. If you rehearse with that drummer, you will have no choice than to keep at your pace. Do you understand? I remember when I started, I was doing, I was having, I was having clashes with other musicians, but I sat down and I checked myself. So I was rehearsing like I was going to die. I was rehearsing seriously. So what that means is that. I was I, I developed myself first. I was I was able to actually manage and you know coordinate the beat to a very large extent. And with that, I was able to keep 
the relationship between me and my drummer. So any drummer I met that time, I was I could play with any drummer. So if I discover that this drummer does not know how to play alujo and every other thing, I just make sure they give me solid and consistent eye life. Do you understand? Just give me consistent and cool eye life like that, like that. So as the pain is going, I know that we'll be able to create good rhythm, you know, for people to dance. See, the most important thing for us to do is to create rhythm that actually, you know, makes a lot of, make a lot of sense. If we do that, then we don't have any problem. All people want to learn is rhythm. And with time, you can actually move ahead and, you know, keep just keep people in the flow. Just keep them in the flow. Your drummer, keep them in the flow. Then other people that have issues with us are bass, basses. You know, because we are, I mean, talking drum is a low end instrument as well as um, bass guitar. So sometimes they have, we have issues when they are said, one has to stop. Me, I don't. I don't like, I don't do that. What I do is to, draw on less if i know there is a bass player i draw I, I i drive less on bass i just make sure the drum is clean and it's heavy people mix it up I, I'm, I'm still bringing um on, on our tutorial i'm still bringing a, a sound engineer maybe on a live session i don't know i don't know so we, they can actually tell us what makes talking drum sound good do you understand we're coming we are, we are going to bring that on so you know what what actually makes talking drum sound very very good if we are able to know the setting you know what to tell your engineer but i know that i've never had issues with um, bassist in fact we we'll play together i mean we we'll syncopate together we we'll play syncopation together do you understand so um the the thing is this we we have to actually um check our check ourselves check what we what, what we are doing check 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 how we improve on ourselves then with that we'll be able to tell the entire world i mean convince anybody that we play with do you understand now keyboardists and everybody they are playing our our ludo with us you know the jam the thing with us it means that we're actually improving on a regular basis you need to improve as you go to play in church tomorrow remember to stay consistent on your drumming you're consistent don't do more than yourself. Uh, I don't know how to solo. I think the solo tutorial is out. Yes, I think we've re released the tutorial on how to solo. But even if you don't know how to solo yet, if it's... You know how to play. Play it consistently. Let them dance it like that throughout. If by next week you add another thing to the tutorial, meaning that you play for them today, they will know you are improving. So don't feel bad that you're not playing what they expect. No, improve on yourself. It's a gradual thing. Nobody starts from um, primary one and the next class he goes to 100 level. It's not possible. It's a process. So you need to get along like that, like that, you know. And um, before you know what is happening, you will get it all, all out. So um, don't be discouraged. It is a journey. And you must, if you want to actually get this thing, um, you need to get if you, if you need to actually know how to play the drum then you need to actually be patient and be diligent with whatever you are doing this is not just talking drum this is not about talking it's about life talking drum is life it is a lifestyle it is a lifestyle that I actually um, that, I've, uh, in, that, that I live and um, that has actually affected me in every other thing that I do every other business that I do you know the it has actually helped me to actually grow and improve. And I know it's going to do that for you too. Uh, Mr. Alex Valetti, thank you, thank you too. Thank you very much. Okay, so I, uh, YouTube family, you guys are watching, but I can't, I, I, I've not seen your question yet. Please let me, let me get your questions. Let me get your questions. Let me get your questions so that I can treat them. Okay, as they are coming in, Little by little, I, I treat them one after the other. But, okay. So, another thing is Owe proverb. I have series of Owe. Some people are asking me that they want Owe, something like Owe. So, what I do with the Owe, I think I have like six episodes on YouTube too. Um, what I do with that is to create the 
a way in such a way that will be danceable, a like something like that, you know, that you can actually, you know, you know, like do. So you can play a way different ways. There is a we do. There is sock manner. A we do is when it sounds like song, you know, it looks, you know, mimicking. The sock manner is when you are just talking. Do you understand? Let's do an example now. Uh, That's like talking, you know. Now check this different. You know, so that one just makes it sound a bit more interesting, you know. And that's and that's 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 just it. Um so we go on and the time is almost uh, okay, some of your questions are there. Um okay. All right, let's do that. Okay, now, please bring bring it on. Bring your question on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see your questions. Okay, so some people. Okay, you 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 want to know how to um, uh, respond to song? No, you, you really don't need too much of trouble. You don't need to trouble yourself. When they are singing, ba mira ba ba bo ba ugo, ba zerere garia. You know, if you know, if you if you have gotten to the level where you can solo, you can do. I get like three or five styles of playing uh, lujo or rhythm or even solo. I said there is proverb. I said that just go and check the um, how to solo on get drumming on you on our YouTube or by AK TV. Now. The, the easy and the best way to do that is to just either use the proverb or you just break the music, you know, just break the... There is another one, rhythm, rhythmic. So, just go on and read, just be, play the rhythm consistently like that just just keep it on but you have to be very 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 firm Another thing that I know, okay, uh, that some people have actually complained about is the fact that um, drum musicians get to run faster than, what's it called now? Faster than the music. So they pull them too fast. They pull them too fast. Uh, I think the best thing for you to do is to just... Um, Oh, okay. They said they can't drop message on uh, uh, okay on YouTube. What do I do? Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry about that. All right. You can drop on Facebook. But you can drop it on Facebook. You can drop it on Facebook. Okay.
So you can't, I think you can drop it now. You can drop it. You can drop the message now. Let's read from you now. Okay. So. Some people say that um, they, they can't keep up. I don't want you to compare yourself. Maintain your own lane. If it is going to take you two years to learn, please, at your own pace, <clears throat> I'm always here. God will keep us alive. I'm always here. I will follow you through the journey. Just convince me that you are doing all, you are putting all your best. You are putting in all your best. And that way, I will be able to at least, you know, encourage you with whatever, however, at a stance. In fact, now I'm beginning to still look for how I can create more time to do one-on-one -on -one, um, class, classes with, with people, you know. I, I think I did one last week. Um, you can actually subscribe to it if you want a personal class. It's not going to be funny, I know, because uh, my time cannot <coughs> sometimes. <clears throat> I'll be very, very demanding, but I'll still look for, this is a task I've signed up for, so I, I think I'm, I'm ready to actually do anything to make you. So, let's see how we can actually do that. Okay. Now, um, at events, if you find yourself playing at event, um, uh, somebody said that after 30 minutes or one hour, it gets very tired and they could not con I mean, continue. What I advise you is for you not to rush when you start. Savor some. Then get water. I, I don't drink, so but when I get on stage, I either drink water. I have. I always have, you know, Ah, okay, let me, can, let me reduce it. So you, we, we can actually get enough water. Get enough water, get enough water. Get enough water. Drop it very well, you can drop it very well. Sorry, sorry for that. I thought you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> so but just um, uh, make sure you have water. Some you can get, I mean, any sugar drink, soft drink. If it helps you, some people when they take coke, they are energized. Some people when they take energy drink, like but the truth of the matter is that don't rush, don't rush. Then, do, if you have, you know, you don't have more than enough alujo, don't rush everything. Just keep it. Some people they call one song and you are playing two alujo. Why? When you can actually play alujo for like two or three songs, it depends on what the length of event you are playing. If you are going for a performance that is going to last 15 minutes, we like play yeah, four alujo in one, in one song. Do you understand? You know that you are in another five, ten minutes, you are out. So it's fine. But for you, you know that you are playing for two hours, especially for people that play at barriers and um, live concerts and stuff like that. Don't rush it. Calm down. So that you don't get to repeat alujo too much. You know, just maintain the one you have and you know, keep keep uh, regulating it like that like that like that so um don't, don't 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 rush it don't rush don't rush then be diligent at practicing on regular basis practice on regular basis all the things i have i've been saying now i've told you that you need to actually um raise your kutelu at least five minutes daily try as much as possible to make sure that every five five minutes you are you know you are practicing, you are practicing, you are you are practicing, you are practicing. That way, you'll be able to, you know, get Kutelu into your system. It comes naturally. It, it comes naturally, naturally. Just, just go. By the time you, some people, not be better. They started like that, but now they can do. People have moved to some people, but some people cannot do more than, and they are trying to do. No, you can That's not good. Go from the slow, the slowest, and increase your pace like that, like that, like that, until you can actually keep up with 100, 120, 140. You will even feel 
anything. You are just doing it as if nothing is nothing is up. Somebody called me that I should teach, I should give him one, one or, I mean, few aludo. Me, that I don't play, <laughs> I don't play aludo, I don't really do so much aludo. In fact, if I play aludo at event, most times I don't even remember it because sometimes they come while I'm playing. So that's what I'm saying. And I, I teach how to make those things. Um, when, in the series of aludo, I, didn't even, I don't think I dropped so many aludo like that. I just thought how to create your own, which is very good. If you, if you can create your own alujo, then it makes a lot of sense for you. It means that you can create more content on your own without the... Uh, okay, so my drummer can't play along with me. I have, I have to tell him, play first then. I try to blend how, <clears throat> how can I advise him to join me while playing. <clears throat> the best thing to do is to just make sure that the person is playing correct high life if you're on 4-4 let them play high life Abi, whatever smooth high life let them just give you a rhythm that you can flow with with time the person will get if the person knows how to play high life properly then you guys will not be doing riaza before church service start or whatever event you are going for or you give them material okay listen to this listen to this Megan listen to this uh, redeem song listen to you understand like that like you give them stuff that are easy small small and the juice let them just be playing it this is one of the very popular ones that one is very easy do you understand but the truth of the matter is that when you do that you'll be able to create this in, the, in their mind. You know what that does? It means that they will, they will think about it even after you guys have played it. You use one this week, next week you add another one. You add another one like that. Before you know what's happening, they have like 10 in their head that they can actually flow with. But the most important thing for you to do, to blend the drama, is to make sure that it's playing sustainable rhythm, not all those scanty, this thing that they will be crashing, they will be soloing, I mean they will be rolling. No, encourage them. Not no, no, no. Don't roll. Don't roll. When you when you are, when I'm playing con consistent rhythm, then you can quickly roll and come back. But let's give them a steady rhythm. That way, you will actually encourage them. They don't get angry. Most of you get angry. You just be saying, "Oh, what kind of rubbish are you playing now?" No, even you, you are playing rubbish in his ears. So that's what is used to try and just come to a, 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 an agreement. You know, okay, let's play this simple rhythm. Let's be playing. When they are playing, we, we don't know Alujo, you don't know so much Alujo yet, just be playing consistent rhythm. So you need to work more on your rhythm. That was why I started, I've done like five episodes on rhythm and I'm still doing it. Do you understand? Know uh, rhythm is just the bedrock for every percussion playing. So the, the best thing to, for you to do is to actually make sure that you, are, you, are, you keep your drummer to play solid rhythm with you. Anybody that is listening to you, people, you will not be scattered. Is far beyond what you are playing. Let them play consistent rhythm and you blend into it. Like that, you guys will, you, will grow. Um, uh, Mr. Okunwala, I hope I've been able to answer your question. Okay, so... Um, Alright, Mr. Malulu, thank you. I can see you on Facebook. Alright, <clears throat> so that's, that's just it. Don't give room for every anything to actually discourage you don't get me wrong discouragement will come it is plenty in the journey of life is natural it's not just this drumming alone it's natural when 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 you have <clears throat> when you have different things you have to do just make sure that nothing discourages you don't allow discouragement to come allow discouragement to be something that will push you ahead okay so um Abimbola, okay. Uh, can you please reduce? Okay, I've done. We've done that already. Okay, what is the way the best way to learn a way? Okay, a way is um, a formula 
that you need to actually abide with while drawing. Um, we have uncountable, in fact, countless away in Yoruba land. In fact, even you, if you have understand, if you have deep thinking, you can actually create one. You understand? But the, the fact remains that um, if you listen to anybody play, listen to Sony, listen to um, Obey, listen to anybody, you can actually do that. Or even Google, away, Yoruba away, you can adapt regular away into drumming away. And there are numerous drums in, on our forum. I think I've uploaded a few ones um, uh, on, on our forum that how can you, I mean, the away that you can actually play. We have like 100, if no more. You know, on that on that platform, so you can actually do that. Okay, so um, once you are able to read it, you score the notes and start playing it. You know what I mean? One obato. So the first thing you should do is to pick your biro as a beginner. Do do re 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 do re re mi. Then you pick your drum. Where is do? It's just like that. There are different things you can actually do with, with proverb, and that would just be it. Any other question before I leave this class? So, okay, yes, after now you can actually go back to it on YouTube or Facebook and, and check it all out again and again. I hope I've been able to... Is there any other question, any other place? I don't... Uh, okay, yes, even Facebook too. You can actually check it later. So let's do this again next week. Um, we hope to improve on it. And um, if need be, you can draw, drop your questions as time goes. Um, okay, no problem. So you can actually uh, come back to it. Uh, thank you. So we do this again next week, 6.30. I pray God help me. If I don't have events that day.